Hey, how are you doing? Well, today I used, really put to work my new pump for the first time. So I want to share this with you. This is an made by Zembelli. It's an Eno Italia Euro 30. Now there's another video out there, but this is just the straight Euro 30. No fancy speed control, stuff like that, but it is stellar. It does almost 20 gallons per minute. That is fabulous for me, but better yet, it has a flexible impeller and it is self priming. You need to make sure you have moisture in the head before you turn it on. I said it, but it will draw suction and it has that moisture to work against, keep the rubber impeller from getting hot. And it did a, a great job of moving from 15 gallon containers and whatnot into my 50, my, my barrel. So I want to show it to you a little bit and explain some such for you, because like all Zambelli manuals, there's a lot to be desired. First of all, they don't talk much about how you turn it on. They just say, turn it on. This is a 240 volt motor. It is reversible. That is really kind of huge. So if you suddenly look at it, you say, I got the hoses on wrong. You turn this in the direction that you want the fluid to flow. Do you want it to go that way or do you want it to go that way? The other thing I'm not going to demonstrate because she's dry now, but this, this is a, when it switches, it's momentary to start. You click it and then you click again and it's spring returns. And that return that first kicks it and gets the motor starting. Then you release it and it stays in the run position. So that's, that's really important to know. And it, it might startle you the first time it does it. No, it's supposed to do that. It, it starts off with a big chutzpah. You should not hold it there long. If it won't start, won't turn, something's wrong. Start looking around for back pressure or whatever. So that's super important. Secondly, this is a feature I really like. This is a bypass right now because it's in line either way. That valve is open so that some of the fluid can just go right around the pump and it circulates. So if you're getting a lot of back pressure and the pump is straining, you can relieve some of that strain by opening the bypass valve. Now, if you're starting and you need suction, Start it like this and bypass, and then slowly move it to that position. You'll take the bypass off. You'll get suction. The pump will prime. The pump will run, and you can leave it there if that's the flow rate you want, or if you want to slow down and not work so hard, you can move it back to bypass. Really great. Um, as I mentioned, it's a 240 volt pump. It does not come with a very long cord. In fact, the cord is really not long enough for much of anything. But um, you can buy cordage and put a new cord on yourself, which I did. I, my cord is 25 feet long, so it's long enough to go from the outlet into the main aisle. So if I wanted to move juice from a 55-gallon drum and pump it in here, I can get the pump as close as I can to the drum I'm pumping from so it has an unrestricted inlet. Remember, you never restrict the inlet of a pump. And then it can push through whatever size hose I have into receiving container in here. So I put a long cord on it. I got this cordage from, I think I got it from Lowe's. What makes it a little different than your typical type S is that it's actually made for food service equipment. I'm not really sure what that's all about other than I think that the oils and contamination that could get on it is easier to clean off. And a type SO, Outdoor rough service cable, it's not so much. So I can't read the markings on it anymore, but it's a, it's a good cable. One more thing I want to show you. I want to show you this plug. This is a 20 amp, 250 volt plug, and it is the common plug for small appliances like this. All my 240 volt stuff, my grinder, my electric space heater, this pump, things that are in my garage and whatnot that are small like this, this is the blade I use. And you'll see that they're at right angles to each other. I just kind of recommend that you get 
just kind of a plug and then make sure your outlets are all the same. All right. Um, one of the benefits of this plug is you, you create a dedicated outlet for it. Uh, you put ground fault protection on it if you need it, whatnot. You're not going to get that necessarily with a washer or a dryer or those other plugs. Uh, you can go and do what you want to do, but I kind of recommend you keep your food surface stuff separate and use a compatible plug that's not overrated, bigger than what the device needs. Anyway, the Zembelli. In Italia, Euro 30. I really like this pump. Yes, it has tri inch and a half triclover. I'm very happy about that because that's what I use now, not threaded. These are actually, um, these are adapters. These were threaded on. They did it. But doesn't matter. My bottom line is I have triclovers installed. It's kind of a kit when you get it. You need to spend a few minutes putting it together, but it does come apart to clean very easily. So that's all I've got to say about it. I hope this was useful. Please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. Please subscribe. I'm trying to do more um, product related and process related content. So take care. Bye for now.